Hey guys, welcome to today's video. As you could tell from the title, it is an updated hair curling tutorial, which I'm excited to do because I haven't done one of these in a long time. I'm very due for one. The last time I did it, I had my hair was like super long and I just curl my hair way different than I did back then. So I'm excited to do this with you today. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I chopped my hair a few months ago and I love it. I will never go back, just kidding. I probably will one day, but I love of the short hair and just like chopping it off and doing this new length like I had to kind of redo how I straighten my hair how I curl my hair like the whole thing so I tried a bunch of different ways to get the right technique and I finally got it so I wanted to share it with you all so without further ado let's get started um, also, I'm going to link like my go-to hair products down below, stuff I used before this, like my detangler and my leave-in conditioner, and then all the stuff that I use in the video will be in the description. But first, I'm going to do some heat protectant spray, and I'm also going to grab this little clip because this version of curling my hair, it takes a minute, I'm not going to lie to you guys. You have to do it layer by layer and I will explain why in a second but so I'm going to start with this pretty small layer of hair down here and I have my heat protectant spray and brush that out and grab the curling iron I use the T3 micro curling iron this is the 1.25 inch I believe and I have it on the third heat setting I love these tools this video is not sponsored by them sadly I wish it was but I do have a coupon code in the description um, but okay so the most important thing with this technique of curling your hair you have to use the smallest chunks of hair possible if you think it's too small it's not too small it could never be too small you could curl one individual hair and that would be good like the smallest chunks and when I had long hair I would curl the biggest chunks like I would just to get it over with because you have so much hair you know just do the biggest chunks but small chunks ladies so see how tiny this little piece of hair is then I clasp it at the top curl it like once maybe twice and then let go so just super super fast light curls and if it because that one was a little bit of a ringlet if it looks too curled I just tug on it right after I do it while it's still warm and it'll kind of lengthen it out a little bit but let me show you guys again you're just gonna clasp it at the top kind of let go wrap it up and then you're gonna gently open the clasp a little bit bring it down and curl it again but you're leaving a lot of hair at the bottom and then pull it out and then that one's a ringlet too so I'm just gonna pull it down a little bit and straighten it out so I leave about this much hair at the bottom I personally like the ends to be straight so if you guys don't like that look you don't have to do that but that's just what I do and so I curled both of those away from my face but I'm going to alter away from my face then towards my face every other curl because that really adds a lot of volume to your hair like it's amazing the amount of volume when you do that compared to like having them all go away from your face so I'm gonna grab a tiny little piece of hair and then curl this one in but I'm gonna do the same thing just like one roll maybe one and a half and then let go pull it a little bit and then do the next one the other way and I'm just gonna keep doing this throughout the entirety of my hair so because we're doing small pieces like I said it does take a while but it's very worth it you guys you're gonna get the beachiest loosest just cutest waves I didn't really talk about the style of the waves before I started this video my bad I think it's gonna be in the title but these are very like loose kind of like tousled waves that you know they could be natural they could be not natural you don't know you know but they're like totally not natural and you have to slave for like 40 minutes to get them you know but nobody has to know that they're gonna look super super cute and natural I still have so much more hair down here I really it takes a minute you guys I'm not gonna lie to you and be like this is a five minute hairstyle because it's not I mean it could be depending on how much hair you have my natural hair is very thin. I have extensions. I have tape-ins. I talk about them a ton on my Instagram if you guys want to know more about them. I've had like a bunch of different types of extensions. I had the hand-tied ones and the keratin bonded ones. But the tape-ins are my fave. So that adds even more hair, but it's worth it. Okay, I'm going to stop talking now. I'm just rambling. So you guys get the point of what I'm doing, and I'm just going to continue to do that, and then I'll show you... Um, again, once I get to like the top layer. But I heard from others that you chase out lovers on the run. That's not a problem.
layers. Um, but what I do on the top is I grab my flat iron just because I have a few little like wavy pieces towards the front that are not key wave. So I will just straighten those to make sure that like the root is straight and the front of my bang always gets wavy. I don't know why. And then after that, I'm going to curl my bang. So I'm going to do the same thing. Just grab a tiny little piece of my bang and I'm just going to curl it really, really quickly. Kind of the same concept, but for the front pieces of my face, I always make sure to curl them away from my face just because I like the look of that more. Um, and then I'll, I'll curl like a majority of my bang away from my face and then I will continue with like the forward, backward, forward, backward thing throughout the rest of my hair. Um, but just to show you, this is what I do really quick. I'll clasp it, curl it, and then let it go. So just really quick. And then I'll do the same thing with this piece. Give it a little curl, let it go. Okay, I'm going to start with this one and I'm going to curl it in towards my hair. So I'm just going to start that back up the back and forth type thing with the small pieces. straightener and if any of the ends look like too curled or anything like that I'll just go through and give them a light little straighten like see how these ones are kind of like kinked at the bottom I'll just straighten those out okay and then after I finish all the curls I look at my roots and sometimes this side of my head like is pretty flat I don't know why so I will tease it just a tiny bit I'll grab my hairspray and then I just lift up the top layer of this section and I'll just spray a little bit of hairspray on the roots and I get my brush and I just kind of like back brush it a little bit just to get some volume at the root and then I'll just kind of brush over it so it doesn't look like ratted or anything and you know what just for fun I'll do it on this side too I'll just grab the top layer spray a little bit and then back brush it just a tiny bit and then I'll just kind of run my fingers through the curls and then this next part is the cherry on top it is the best this unite texture spray finishing texture hairspray it is the best thing to ever happen to my short hair I promise you this is like amazing you need it um, I go through and just spray a little bit throughout the curls and it really gives them just like a lot of volume the perfect like beachy texture and it just completes it watch you guys will see it. this is the before okay ready look at that look how much volume it gives it and it just makes it like so natural looking and just like tousled. So I'll do it to this side. <coughs> it's all smoky in here. And then that is it. So this is what it looks like the final look. Let me turn around so you guys can see the back. Okay, this is what the back looks like. I don't know if it's focusing on my face, but just super natural tasseled waves. I might have missed a piece in the back, so if I did, don't judge me, but definitely the key takeaways from learning how to curl my hair like this, the smaller pieces, the better, just curl, curl, curl. It might take a little bit longer. Honestly, this only took me like 20 minutes in real time. I know I sped it up, but it's not that bad and I think it's totally worth it. And then also texture spray. And you can also, if you want more body in your hair, you can always get a brush and then like back brush the ends a little bit just to kind of give it a little bit more volume. But yeah, so super easy. I hope you guys learned something new. If you have any questions about it, let me know in the description. If you guys are not subscribed already, be sure to subscribe. I do a lot of hair, fashion, lifestyle vlogs, travel. I just basically show you my life and what I do on this channel. So if you guys are interested, I have new videos every week and make sure to turn on the bell and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.